So, do you want to learn to be a developer or maybe a better developer in general and you're not sure how to go about it? You're interested in development or you're interested in design, but mainly you want to learn the skill set and maybe start applying it. Maybe you don't know where to start. Maybe you do, but you don't have the motivation to do so. Well, hopefully this video will help you. If you don't know who I am, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to learn to become a developer and how to improve if you are already a developer with what kind of resources there are out there to improve your skill set and learn more. The very first thing is how to become a developer. And this is something that I get asked quite a lot, especially in the space that I am now. Usually people just ask where to get started or what they can do to maybe improve themselves. And for this, I think one of the best resources out there is actually a website called the Free Code Camp. They're a website which essentially gets people started from the very, very fundamentals and basics. So this is things like learning how to do your HTML. HTML is like the building blocks of your web. It's the things that everything is built on. Then you've got CSS and CSS is sort of like the styling you're applying to those building blocks. It's like the paint. That is actually almost an entirely different language, but to learn that is another big step that you have to do. And finally, the last building block is JavaScript. And JavaScript is sort of like the fundamentals or the laws of how things work and how you can make them do different things once you've built them. There are a list of functions or functionalities that you can apply like sliders and things like that. With Free Code Camp, they take you through every single one of these. So you can actually learn all the fundamentals for HTML, such as divs and h1 tags, h2 tags, a tags, and what they are. You'll learn how to make links and how to make sure that everything is SEO friendly and done correctly. And by the end of it, you'll actually get a certificate to show that you've proven that you know these fundamentals. So if anyone asks you, you can show that you've done the tests and you've passed them, which is really cool. They do the same thing for CSS and JavaScript. So by the time you finish doing those fundamentals, you can move on. There's other ways to learn to become a developer as well. You don't have to do just free code cap. If you're really interested, you can do a course on it. There's lots of courses out there. There's things like Udemy. There's things like um, just even going to TAFE or university for that. Personally, my recommendation would be to self-learn. The resources out there are usually already free and available, and things like Free Code Camp make it really easy to get started. Once you learn those basics, you should start applying them as soon as you can. Any good development is done when you've got a project or a hobby in mind, because that's usually where you learn the most. When I was learning to do development, then I found that a lot of the courses I did just didn't stick in my brain. It sort of went in and straight out again. And it wasn't until I worked on my very first project and I had lots of challenges on how to do things like responsive design, how to do a little bit of animation and JavaScript that I actually started learning those fundamentals properly. So as soon as you finish your courses, as soon as you finish some of those free code camp um, exercises, start working on something you're interested in. If that's a little passion project or even a little gaming site or whatever it is, just start working on it bit by bit. And this will help you build those fundamentals in real world examples. After this, it's good to jump onto other resources. There's, there's a really cool website out there called Egghead.io. And once you understand the basics of web and stuff like that, you can jump on there and they teach you a little bit more with really cool instructors. They're doing development and courses a little bit different. What they do is they actually have courses which are quite large. They might be about 30 little modules, but those modules are actually tiny. They're only a few minutes long. Sometimes they're straight and concise and to the point. So what you might do is you might learn how to do a simple JavaScript function in maybe two or three minutes. And this way, maybe if you only have two or three minutes to spare on your way to work, or maybe if you're on a lunch break and you just wanna learn a couple of things, you can do this in concise manners. Egghead IO is really cool because they have some great instructors on there, such as some of the people that actually made the libraries or frameworks themselves. So that way you're learning from the best and it's a really cool way to continue your development once you understand your fundamentals. 
Once you have learned Egghead, it's time to start working on your own project or even applying for work. This is where you're going to learn the most about development because you'll be thrown into the frying pan, so to speak. You'll be building out real world applications or real websites. And this is sort of the best experience you can possibly get. It's when you actually learn to justify and really acknowledge the skills that you've built so far. I found that after doing lots of courses and self-learning and projects, I learned almost 10 times as much once I got into the working of it. So as soon as you feel comfortable, then start applying for jobs, even if it's at just a junior level. You might find that you should be at a level where you can start learning and even if you don't have all the skills. People understand that a junior is just starting out and they'll be willing to help you. So this way you'll be able to learn a lot more about development and grow your skill sets. If I'm employing someone, for example, and I was expecting someone from a junior level, then I would be sitting there next to them, mentoring them, helping them out. If they have any questions, I'd be happy to help them. And I think that's really important. So if you find that you're applying for a job and the expectations are around a junior developer, and maybe they might say things like they need React or three years of JavaScript, apply anyway, because a lot of the times the actual people making the job applications don't exactly know what they want. But after they employ you, you might just find that you're doing some basic websites and you'll learn a lot. And the job application requirements didn't exactly meet up with the job application real world requirements, so to speak. Anyway, these are my tips for getting started in development. There are some other tips I've got for design, but I might talk about them in a different video. But hopefully this gets you up and started if you have this question. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.